Um, we we're talking about the uh, Bengals uh, Chiefs game last night. Mm-hmm. Like, such a loud majority of society is going off about the refs, the refs, the refs, and like they they screwed the Bengals and they did this and they did that and like I played a lot of sports growing up. I played in a lot of different situations, big games, tournaments, games where there wasn't a single person in the crowd, games where there was a ton of people in the crowd. And the one thing I can't get past is the game ended and the Bengals, there was like two two minutes and some left, and like the Bengals had a chance to win. They had the ball. They had a chance to win. They had to go down. 50 yards, kick a field goal, get a touchdown, whatever it was. They didn't have far to go in order to score to win, and they couldn't do it. And, like, I'm a huge Bengals fan. I watched the game, and I was been out of shape about it, but, like, I can't look at that game and, like, look at it as, fuck the refs. The refs screwed us. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm a person where I look at the game where, like, we had a chance, but fucked up. Fucking sucks. Like, it, you can't go through life and just right. keep blaming the other people. And like, like such a loud Twitter majority, social media majority of people blaming the refs. Everybody. Like that's not the actual group of society. If I walk around my store, if I talk to regulars, if I talk to people like that, like everybody is pretty much on the, on the fence of like, yeah. they had a chance. Tie game, two minutes left. Mm-hmm. Couldn't do it. Fucking sucks. Like, like this overwhelmingly loud majority on Twitter talking about this game of blaming the refs. Like, that's not. No, but some of the tweets real, have been like, pretty funny. I read one that. Did you see oh, there's been funny talked ones. about trying to get robot refs because they're getting robots for like everything nowadays. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like. Well, like, such a loud conversation through the year. The last couple of years, it's been getting louder, but like this year, I feel like it's been absolutely loudest just talking about oh, yeah. things being rigged. And, like, so, I mean, I'll hot take this. Like, I don't think the games are rigged at all. Like, I don't think the refs are blowing blowing calls intentionally. I don't think refs are pulling things. I don't think anything like that. But the storyline is being told. And, like, that's the part that gets frustrating for fans of, like, okay, what else are they doing? But, like. There's the two teams that are in the Super Bowl, the uh, Eagles and the Chiefs. There's two brothers from Ohio. Both of them played at UC, and now they're playing each other in the Super Bowl. And their mom travels back and forth between games, and like in the same day, we'll go watch both their games. And like she probably flies a wild amount to be a, make sure she makes it to all these games. But like, he all for sure. They better. But That's her mom. She. The story has been getting. The story's been getting told very vocally all year long. And then now the two brothers are playing against each other in the Super Bowl. And the first time in NFL history, the two brothers are playing in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Like, interesting. Second thing is, like, the Deshaun Watson gets suspended for, like, in a good massage, a real deep tissue massage, if you know what I mean. And he gets suspended the commissioner comes out and changes the suspension for his first game back is going to be against his former team, the Texans. Like it's storylines. And like the NFL is all about posting storylines and making these storylines. Like that stuff is being scripted. I don't think the, I don't think the games are rigged or anything like that, but the, like the WWE storyline is it's getting loud and a lot of yeah, people are getting annoyed. I mean, I've heard all about this. It's, it's hard to miss if you're on any kind of social media with any sort of sports uh, commentary or whatever. It's a little confusing. I'm not as uh, in touch with the NFL as I used to be. Um, but it is entertaining because if it is a conspiracy, the whole thing would be hilarious. But at the same time, it can't be for a certain extent because you can only do so much to the games. Like, if they were doing anything with the teams to make the teams perform the way they do, and it was all an act, then they're the best actors in the world. Because how in the world can you fake half that stuff? You know what I mean? You can't. 
there's too much money. Yeah. There's too many people. There's too many voices. Like there's too much involved in order to mm -hmm. fake or manipulate it. But you can manipulate the story and affect the storyline. Oh, for sure. To gain followers, and I think that that's something that the current commissioner has been his big focus is like his big focus for when he first got it was getting rid of the storyline of like the bad boy league players every single night getting DUIs and throwing wads of cash into into in strip clubs and all this stuff. Do you think this stuff isn't going on anymore? It's still fucking going on. He's just found a way to control the storyline and manipulate the narrative into all of these yeah. things that he wants to be the headline. I mean, like, I think they're making more money now than they ever have in sports. So with that have. being said, that means the more money they have, the more they can do, whether it's spending the money out or finding a way to hide it even better because they have the money to do that. So I bet all of them are doing just as much as they used to do when it came to partying or whatever, if not more, because they have the ability to get away with it more now. Well, when every news network wants to be involved with the NFL and everybody is paying billions of dollars to get it's involved the with them. the world right now, right? Nah. I, I would have a hard time believing that there's a, uh, what do you call it, a non-disclosure agreement of, if I want a storyline not put out, you're not putting it out and like it might be a little glimpse in the local news, but like national media won't put it out. So like, we aren't going to hear yeah, about it's it. It's pretty wild. That's why like, it's interesting to see old movies that I used to love, like any given Sunday, such a good movie, but a lot of that stuff that's in there that mm -hmm. like felt like it was only from Hollywood, like a fake story. No, dude. Most of that's real, if not worse than what they were projecting, I would assume. Yeah. For sure. So, like, 